Hi guys! So, I want to apologize for filming with my webcam and the light and the quality and everything. And also pro the probably very um, emotional and not very organized video that you're going to watch now. Um, so, as you might know... Um, okay, so as you might know, something awful happened in Paris today. Um, there was a... There is a... Oh, I don't... I don't really know what to say and how to say it. I don't really know why I'm feeling like doing that video. The thing is, today there were 12 people killed in Paris um, just because they were working, just because they were doing their jobs, and their jobs was to be journalists and to, um, you know, do their best and give their all to culture and information and freedom of speech and they were killed for that reason and one of those persons was a policeman that was killed also because he was here to help people and that just breaks my heart on so many different levels and for so many different reasons and even though you know I didn't know anyone I didn't even read that newspaper uh, that magazine I knew it obviously, because it's a very, it's quite a popular one, um, and I, sometimes I get messages from people asking me about particular points about French culture, and one thing I never really address, because it's a bit, I don't know, it doesn't really, it's not really easy to cover in English, and it's a deep and vast topic. I think it, one thing that's very important in France is freedom. And I mean, it's important everywhere, and everyone should be free. But I feel like France has a very specific culture, and every country has a specific culture. But in French culture, freedom of speech and the freedom to mock and to make fun of and to talk about anything is very important whether you see it on TV or you see it on in newspaper and in magazines or on radio and it's something I love about France and those people were doing a great job they, they were delivering very witty and very informative articles and posts and drawings and the fact that some people decided that it wasn't okay for them to do their job and okay for them to speak their mind and okay for them to just you know yeah just basically be free to to express themselves in the way they wanted to and not only that but really what they were doing was a job for humanity and for everyone it's it's an important job to talk about things that matter it's an important job to confront fanatism and any kind of censorship and dictature and any kind of limit to people's freedom and they don't do it for themselves really they do it for other people and to think that you can die because you do that it's just it's crazy and to think that this happened in my country uh, I don't you know, this video doesn't make any sense, but the thing is, I just, I don't know how it's going to be portrayed abroad. Um, what I want to say is that this magazine is not a racist one, it's not, it's not racist, it's not against Muslims, it's not against any group of people. They would make fun 
of every religion, every everything you could think of, they would make fun of it and they would not have any limit as to who they would talk about and what they would talk about. And that is exactly what was great about it and what's great about it because it's freedom of speech. And they're not doing it to hurt anyone, they're just doing it because you can't you should be able to do it, I believe. And I don't want I've seen a few things on Twitter that were awful like and I just wanted to say that from a French perspective, I'm I'm a French person obviously living in Paris. It's terrible and it's very painful, honestly, it breaks my heart. I think French are very happy and proud to say that France is a country of freedom and not only freedom of speech and I think it is true and it is terrible that this kind of things happen anywhere in the world, that's for sure. But this is not something we are used to. And we are used, I think, to being able to express ourselves freely and it's very traumatizing. At least for me, it is very traumatizing. And the violence of the act is just crazy and how many people were killed is also very crazy. And I couldn't, really I could not think of anything else today when I heard the news and it didn't seem right for me to not address it in a video. Um, also I want to say that most French people I believe will know that it's not something that was done by Muslim people. Just want to say it too. Uh, but lately France has been the victim of several acts that were really violent and it's a bit scary but I think no one I think we will never surrender and we will never let fear or any kind of phobia or hatred win our hearts and Right now, I'm really thinking of the people who died today and their families, and it must be so hard to just see one's life suddenly taken away for no reason just because some people were so stupid. So, I just wanted to throw it out there like, I'm so grateful for you know, policemen, journalists, and firefighters, and all those people who try their best all the time to protect ourselves, whether it is like, you know, literally protecting ourselves, like would pol like policemen would do, but also journalists, I think, and writers and any kind of people involved into intellectual and information field thing. It's so important what they're doing. They're quietly fighting for us to be able to think and have access to information. and. It's precious. So yeah, um, that's a very very sad day for friends, I think. And um, yeah, as much as I feel very French, I never experienced the feeling of feeling with my country as I do today. It's a very odd thing. <laughs> But yeah, um, thank you for watching that video, guys. I guess I just wanted to share that with you and I wanted to be known and heard that we care. Like, I do care and I'm not the only one. We all care for those people that were killed and it's so sad. And we have to be grateful and aware of how lucky we are and privileged we are that we have access to information and that there are people who are fighting to deliver us the information so yeah um thank you for watching and i'll see you later with a tomorrow or i don't know when with a more regular video but really i don't know how i'm gonna be able to post and film you know about more light tough pick because i'm feeling really um, moved and mortified by what happened. But yeah, I hope you're doing well, guys. And let's just fight all of us hate, really. It's such poisonous thing. Okay, bye.